Greetings. Welcome back to the channel. Now, my second formers, if you have been paying attention, you would have known that we have reached a stage where we're at weather. And so far, we have identified eight elements of weather. And if you want to follow, it's in your textbook on page 144. And that is the skills in geography. And it actually goes all the way to... All right, so this chapter ends at 160, page 160. So it goes from 144 to page 160. So you can, you are supposed to read all of this chapter. You know, you can go ahead and you read and you learn about all the elements. Now you have, you don't have to wait on me to come to class. And, and teach you these things you can actually read ahead and know what i'm going to teach and be be prepared so that we can have a nice discussion in class all right so um back to where i was we have identified eight elements of weather and these elements of weather are temperature 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 Pressure Pressure Pressure. Wind. Wind. Wind speed. Wind direction. Humidity. 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 Rainfall. 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 Cloudiness. Cloud cover. Cloud cover. Cloudiness. Sunshine 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 So there you have it the eight basic elements of weather temperature pressure rainfall wind direction wind speed humidity cloud cover or cloudiness sunshine did i miss any let me know in the comments if i did now at every weather station information is gathered about these eight basic elements of weather the information is gathered by using devices or instruments simply known as weather instruments and they are temperature the thermometer air pressure the barometer rainfall 
the rain gauge, humidity, the hygrometer, hygrometer, yes, there's a G in it, cloud cover, now this one is a little tricky, you use your eyes, yes, your eyes is actually the instrument, you use your eyes, sunshine, the Campbell Stokes sunshine recorder, wind, and as you realize, the wind is divided into two categories, wind speed and wind direction. For wind speed, we have the anemometer. And for wind direction, this is taken on the wind vane. Some weather stations have what is called a wind sock, but the most accurate one is the wind vane. Each weather element has its own instrument and each instrument has its own unit of measurement. For example, the thermometer. Its unit of measurement would be Celsius or Fahrenheit. In some cases, in some labs, you might have Kelvin. But the more popular ones are Celsius and Fahrenheit. The barometer. Its unit of measurement is the millibar. Millibar. The unit of measurement for the rain gauge would either be inches or millimeters. Yes, I said millimeters. I know some people want to say milliliters, but it's actually millimeters. The hygrometer. Now that is referred to as a percentage. So you might hear that the sky or the air is 70%. That's a relative humidity of the air. Clouds. Even though we use our eyes, the unit of measurement for clouds would be the octas. Octas. What does that sound like? Sound like eight, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Except that it is spelled with O K T A S. In the case that there are more than one. So they are octas. And it's a division of eight. The Campbell Stokes Sunshine Recorder records sunshine in hours of sunshine so basically it's time and it would be hours of sunshine so there are 24 hours in the day and it would it would be measuring how many hours of sunshine there are in the day for wind speed that would be kilometers per hour or miles per hour or as you might hear on the new on the weather in the evenings knots Wind direction and that the units of measurement would be the compass points or the compass directions, you know, north, south, east, west, northwest, southwest. Yeah. And there you have it. All the elements of weather, all the instruments used to measure these weather elements, and the units of measurement. So in your table, you would have three headings: elements, instruments, and measurements. Alright. I hope learned a lot and I hope you continue to excel in geography and continue being addicted to geography.